it's really hard to find yourself again after spending all your energy making others happy when you're constantly trying to prove to others that you are deserving of kindness and happiness sometimes you just need to take a step back and put yourself first if you clicked on this video you most likely also feel like you have lost yourself in between all the effort that you have been putting in to make others happy if so don't worry because in today's video we are going to be putting ourselves first and reclaiming our lives i know these are extremely basic ways that you can do so however i thought since we're most likely both in the same boat here we would do it together let's not waste any time we are going to jump straight into the video so the first probably most simple and obvious ways that you can reclaim your life is to set up routines. Setting up routines allow you to take control of your life and your time. Routines that you set can be anything from exercising regularly to having a really good morning routine. I'm going to speak about two just because those are the ones I have in place at the moment. So let's get into a good morning routine. Everyone's morning routine is going to be uniquely adjusted to fit their needs and the time that they have to get ready in the morning. However, I did just want to show you my little morning routine. It doesn't happen every day and it certainly doesn't happen in this order every day either. Another really important routine for me is cleaning my room every single week. And by cleaning, I don't just mean picking stuff up off the floor and putting it away. I mean changing and washing my sheets, vacuuming, dusting, making sure the space around me is clean so that I can function better. I like to try and get my cleaning done on a Monday so that the rest of the week is kind of reset and refreshed. I don't really know if that makes sense, but Monday is definitely the day I try to clean and get my space organized for the week. There are so many different routines that you can get into, however, those are the ones I've shown you just because they are my most constant routines and the ones that I try to follow quite strictly. Another thing that I wanted to bring up in this video is eliminating unnecessary stress, most probably also in areas that we don't even think to look. Something that personally causes me a whole bunch of unnecessary stress, I'm most definitely sure it causes a whole bunch of other people unnecessary stress, and that is social media. Now, I don't think this is talked about enough. I know that so many of us are on social media and we see these people like doing all these things, going on trips, going on holiday, going to all these fancy places while we're sitting at home looking at them live their lives. I think that is such 
if I can say, a poisonous thing for your mind and it definitely does stress me out because I feel like I should be doing all those things. I was following so many people who I knew but weren't really in my life and I just didn't really need to be following them or keeping up with what they were doing as well as influencers and celebrities that just posted every day and made me feel not so great about my life. This is where the important part is coming in to the whole eliminating unnecessary stress. I decided to go through my Instagram, my TikTok, you know, all of those social medias and unfollow a whole bunch of people that just made me feel uneasy or didn't inspire me anymore. I now only follow people who really inspire me and by that I mean maybe their outfits inspire me or their art or you know their type of posts but nothing that makes me feel like my life is less than theirs. The other day I was talking to one of my friends and she said that going on social media or Instagram makes her really sad and I think the issue of following people who make you feel like your life is less than theirs is the problem of that. So I feel like this is an unspoken but really important step that you can make to reclaiming your life and just living for you in the moment instead of getting caught up in everyone else's lives who really don't have an impact on yours. I also decided to go through all the contacts on my phone as well as messages or WhatsApp chats and delete a whole bunch of those who I don't talk to or who I don't want in my life because not having their number means that, you know, I've let go of that. Deleting photos. I know that this topic is quite sensitive. Seeing specific photos or specific people in your lives in photos makes you unhappy or sad or makes you feel depressed and just useless you don't need them on your phone you don't need to every now and then go back there and re-look at those photos and by re-looking at them relive them so yeah that was actually a really hard thing for me to do and i still need to do so much of it. It also gives space for so many more photos and memories that are coming up in your life. We are now going to move on to keeping your space decluttered. This might not affect a few people but it definitely affects me. I know that if I have a whole bunch of stuff and just things that I don't use that other people could be using in my room then I feel very stressed, very uneasy. An example of this is clothes that you don't wear anymore. I'm giving this example because I have way too many clothes that I don't wear and they literally take up an entire drawer in my wardrobe. Like, I need that drawer for things I actually use. I found out about this app called Jaeger where you can buy and sell used or pre-loved items that are still in good condition. That being said, you are making money off of things that are just sitting in your room, in your cupboard. I'm not sure if Jaeger is only a South African thing. I don't really know how it works. All I know is that I've been using it and I've been loving it. That is how I've been eliminating those unnecessary things in my wardrobe and it's a very quick and easy way to do so. I have also donated so many things to charity or to people who need them, stuff that you don't have use for it anymore. I think donating it is a really good idea and your space ends up being so much more open and just ready to let new things in. I feel like I have been talking forever but I hope that if you clicked on this video you've kind of had a sense of motivation or got some ideas as to how you can reclaim your life. I know these are very very basic but I think it's still a really good start. That was my hand. <laughs> if you are trying to start this whole process. I am going to be doing other videos relating to this, kind of like a series. So 
watch out for that if you want to keep growing with me on this journey. Mm-hmm.